Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I wanted to talk about Aya Neo's upcoming $299 gaming device powered by SteamOS known as the Aya Neo Next Lite. Now, some of you may have seen some news about this device releasing and uh, they did post something on their official Twitter which stated that they're going to have a cheaper handheld powered by SteamOS and now we've got a lot of great information on it. I really kind of wanted to make this video just to see if this would be something that everybody would be interested in. I want to go over the specs a little bit. And what you're seeing on screen right now isn't exactly the Next Lite. This is the original Next, which is going to have the same design as the Next Lite. This does have a Ryzen 5000 series APU and I've installed the same operating system that they're going to be using on the Next Lite. Now, before we get started here, I do want to mention that this video is brought to you by URCD Keys. I've actually been using this site for a couple years now. They do offer Steam Keys, Origin, Uplay. They even offer Microsoft applications like Office. But the main reason that I use URCD Keys is for their Windows Keys. Right now, their Windows 10 Pro OEM key is $19.84, but if you use code ETA at checkout, you can get 25% off. And another great thing about buying from here is they do accept PayPal. I just did this build here. I need to activate Windows. I'm going to head over to my updates and security. We're going to go to activation. As you can see, I've got Windows 10 Pro, but it's not activated. So I'm going to change product key. I'm going to paste it in here. Choose next. Choose activate and Windows is now activated. We're ready to go. My warning is totally gone and basically that's it. They'll email your code once your payment is processed and that's basically it. If you're interested in picking up cheap Windows 10 keys for your new PC builds, I'll leave a link in the description. Over on Ioneo's official Twitter page, they posted a teaser stating that they'll have that cheaper device with SteamOS, and everybody was kind of under the impression that Valve helped them get SteamOS up and running. But unfortunately, it's not officially from Valve. It's actually still a great operating system. The next light is actually going to be using Holo ISO, which is basically a fork of SteamOS 3, the operating system running on the Steam Deck. And we've got all of the great features that the Steam Deck has over on Holo ISO. I've done several videos on it. I've had my eye on it for a while. We've installed it on many PCs, big PCs, and especially a lot of different handhelds. And since the announcement of the Next Lite, I've been doing a lot of testing with this Next device and Holo ISO. I've been seeing some pretty decent performance, but this does have a Ryzen 5000 series APU. And of course, we've got Ryzen 7000 on the market right now. Actually, 8000 is just right around the corner, which is basically the same thing as 7000 that we have right now, but it will offer a little more AI performance. It's still got that Radeon 780M iGPU. And what you're seeing right now actually has a Radeon Vega GPU. It's the Radeon Vega 8, and it's basically the same GPU that we're going to see in the upcoming Next Lite. But of course, when this version released, it was much more expensive than $299, and they're stating that that's going to be the base price of the next light. What I want to do now is head over to their website so we can take a look at the light, just go over all of the specs and features to see if it'll be something that everybody would be interested in at that very low price tag of $299 for the base model. Heading over to the official Ioneo site, you'll see they've got the next light listed, touch the future, the cost effective choice. Moving down just a bit gives us some more information. iNeo Next exploring a new species of future Windows handheld consoles. It was the first to achieve colorful color matching, unique texture, hall sensing joysticks, x-axis linear motor, pioneering the Windows handheld Next era. Nowadays, Next Soul of Exploration Fusion offers excellent value for the money, future popularizing a range of flagship features, allowing more players to enjoy a superior experience. This is the Aya Neo Next Lite. So we definitely want to take a look at these specs here. We're going to get that 7-inch 800p IPS true color display, and I'll tell you, on the Next, it's a really good looking display they opted to use. X-axis linear motor, six-axis gyroscope, next grip, ergonomic grip system, and yeah, like I mentioned, I've always been a big fan of the design of the Next. We've also got those hall sensing big joysticks and hall triggers, but if you take a look here, this is actually going to be utilizing an older APU. You're going to be able to opt for the AMD Ryzen 5 4500U or the Ryzen 7 4800U. And when it comes to both of these APUs, they're based on Zen 2 architecture. The 4500U has six cores and six threads. It's got a base clock of 2.3 gigahertz and a boost up to 4.0. And when it comes to the iGPU, we've got the Radeon Vega 6 at 1500 megahertz. 
The 4800U definitely outperforms the 4500U. We've got eight cores, 16 threads, a base clock of 1.8 gigahertz, and a boost up to 4.2. And this chip uses the Radeon Vega 8i GPU up to 1750 megahertz. So we've got eight CUs on that iGPU for the 4800U and six CUs on the 4500U. Lots of information over here. Custom dual copper pipe cooling system, 47 watt hour battery. They're gonna have the pastel blue, which I think looks really good. Just a bit different from everything else on the market. Bright white with those orange triggers and jet black. And the main draw here for a lot of people is the fact that this will have Linux pre-installed. Now they did say SteamOS and they're not wrong, but this is gonna have pre-installed hollow ISO. We've been testing this for quite some time. And basically what the developers did was take the stock Steam Deck image and rework it so it would work on other devices. Don't get me wrong, it functions really well on these handheld consoles, even up to Ryzen 7000, but it would have been really nice to have kind of an official build of SteamOS 3 from Valve. And when this was first announced, a lot of people speculated that Valve may have helped them get SteamOS 3 up and running on these devices, but unfortunately it is a third party offshoot of SteamOS. Again, I don't want to downplay the operating system here that they're using, Hollow ISO is actually really awesome. It does get updates. And uh, I mean, we've got everything built in that the Steam Deck does. And hopefully with the next light, they have implemented some type of TDP control from the Performance Center. That's one thing that's been lacking on these operating systems uh, that are kind of based on Steam OS. Basically, since the operating system was built specifically for the Steam Deck, uh, that option never really worked from the main menu. So hopefully they do get that working be really nice to be able to take this up on the fly, just like we do on the Steam Deck. Now again, the model we're taking a look at here has the 5825U, which does come in a bit more powerful than the 4700U, which is gonna be in the higher end light version. We've got Vega 8 graphics here, just like we will, but it's clocked at 2000 megahertz. Now I wanted to show you a little bit of gameplay here. Another thing we've got going is a higher clock, but I don't have this thing maxed out. The TDP isn't maxed out on this 5825U. This is Cyberpunk 2077, 800p low settings. And I'll tell you, it's actually really smooth. Now, ignoring the FPS that we're running here because we're not quite at 60, it actually feels pretty decent the way we've got it set up. I do have V-Sync on, so we're not experiencing any kind of screen tearing or anything like that. And if I just went ahead and locked this down at 30 FPS, I could have a really good experience with Cyberpunk 2077 on this device the way it is right now. Next up, we've got Street Fighter 6. I am at low settings, 800p, and this is running at 60 FPS. We're seeing some good performance here with this fighting game. Now I know it's not the most intensive fighting game on the market. I'd say that crown would go to Mortal Kombat 1, but I didn't test it on this just yet. Now, if the interest is there, we can do more testing. And I do have many PCs laying around with that 4700U, so I can install the same operating system there. And we could kind of gauge the performance of the upcoming next light from that. If you're interested in seeing a video, let me know in the comments below. And the final game we have here is Spider-Man Miles Morales, 800p, low settings with FSR set to performance. This is one of those games that's really hit or miss on these APUs. So uh, the newer Ryzen 7840U does run this at 60 FPS. With the newer drivers, we can actually go up to 1080p low on the 7840U, but we're working with Vega graphics. We don't have RDNA 3 with this device or the upcoming next light. So yeah, definitely a really interesting little handheld here coming in at $299 for the lower end model. And that's what they've announced so far. So I'm guessing it's going to be the 4500U. And if you remember correctly, the original INEO handheld had the 4500U. They later put out a version with the 4800U. So I can't help but to think that they're just kind of repurposing parts that they already have to build a cheaper console, which in my eyes, if it performs well, I don't mind at all. But another thing we need to take into consideration is that with the 4500U and the 4800U, it's using Zen 2 cores and Vega graphics. Even if you take a look at the Steam Deck, it's got Zen 2 Plus cores and RDNA 2 graphics. The Steam Deck uses a custom APU, and uh, I mean, there is a chance even at 15 watts that the Steam Deck will outperform something like this, even if it was running at, let's say, 25 watts. But until it's officially released and the software is fully fleshed out, we really don't have a clue on how this is going to perform. As soon as I can get my hands on an official version, I will be doing some testing on it. 
But I'd love to know from you in the comments below, is this something you'd be interested in at that $299 price tag? Now it's definitely gonna feel premium. The Aya Neo Next design that they came up with still looks really good, even in 2024. But I'm sure a lot of you out there are eager to see how this thing performs with real world gaming. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're interested in seeing Hollow ISO running on a 4500U or a 4700U, be it a mini PC or another handheld that I have laying around, let me know because I think we could definitely gauge what kind of performance we're going to see. And of course, they will have some optimizations specifically tailored towards those chips with Hollow ISO. But I think we can get right there with what kind of performance we will see out of the next light. I'll leave some links in the description to Aya Neo's official website so you can learn a little more. And I'm not exactly sure if they're going to be doing an Indiegogo or officially just launching this directly on their website. I will keep you up to date in the comments section. But like always, thanks for watching.